Let me ask you a quick question. What would your life be like if you were a caveman? You probably just heard that question. You're like, what the fuck is this dude even talking about? But just imagine that you were your ancestors. Imagine that you are a fucking caveman. No Netflix, no phone, no bullshit. All you have is nature, survival, trying to find food, trying to reproduce, trying to protect your tribe. Your biggest issues in life are survival and reproduction. But now, what are our biggest issues in life? Getting a good job, going to school, getting a degree, a number of other bullshit that really so serves no purpose in human life. And you may be thinking, what the fuck? School serves no purpose. Jobs serve no purpose. What are you talking about? I mean, if you think about it, all we really need is food and water and we're chilling. We don't need anything else. And yeah, that might sound kind of boring. You may think, well, if we have all these things around us, why not use these things in everyday life? We have fucking showers. We have stoves to cook food. We have shit that helps us in everyday life. But I just want to take a second to think about all of these things that are technological advancements. What are these things made for? What are stoves made for? What are couches made for? Beds made for? Chairs? Everything is made for comfort. Every technological advancement, nearly every technological advancement is made for the sake of comfort. And lately, in today's era, companies have been able to exploit our biology and find ways to make us feel as comfortable as possible and release as much dopamine as possible, as fast as possible. And sometimes we just need to take a step away from that kind of stuff, that instant gratification kind of stuff and just live like a caveman. Some ways you can do this are by changing what you eat. Don't eat any chemical, added sugar, added bullshit that you don't need, that won't give you energy throughout the day, that won't do anything besides make you feel good in the moment while you're eating that specific item. But then afterwards, you have no energy. You feel worse than you did before. Your health is worse than you were before. So eat like a fucking caveman. Eat red meat, eat healthy, grass-fed, free-range, grass-finished, wild-caught fish, organic fruits and vegetables, complex carbs in general, healthy fats, healthy protein. You, you guys get the idea, but eat like a fucking caveman, and then that way you'll be more back to that biological state of being, and you'll be back to that proper way of being, because when you're eating chemical bullshit, this interacts with your body, your mind, your gut, your emotions will change you won't be as productive you won't be as happy with your life because you'll always be wanting more dopamine more stimulation from this sugary snack or this unhealthy snack or this unhealthy food or whatever it may be this fast food because those things taste fucking good in the moment but in the long run they only hurt us and another thing that we can do to become more like a caveman is just get outside Today's a fucking pretty shitty day, but I'm gonna go on a few walks today. I don't know about you guys, but before I started actually intentionally going outside, I'd probably only spend like literally two minutes outside a day from me just walking to my car and walking inside of buildings and just literally that's the only time in my day that I would be outside or if I was in my car opening the windows, that would be my definition of outside for the day. But lately I've been trying to get outside way more and I noticed that this raises my vibration, raises my mood. I feel a lot better when I'm outside. I'm not always stressed out and just anxious and trying to worry about how to get rid of that anxiety by doing things like watching Netflix, playing video games, just distracting myself in general. And just getting outside is fucking amazing. And another thing that I want to talk about when it comes to getting outside is getting sunlight because when we were cavemen when our ancestors were alive they were just fucking out in the sun all day long they were always getting that vitamin d they were always getting that sunlight in their eyeballs that'll help your circadian rhythm so you can have proper sleep at night energy during the day and you're just overall a better fucking person because when your circadian rhythm's off you're gonna have no energy during the day you're gonna be awake during the night you're not gonna have good sleep and one thing that fucks this up is blue light going on your phone your laptop your tv so we need to reduce this type of stuff, live like a caveman, get outside, get that sunlight and get back to our natural way of being and not let these companies 
exploit our biology. I'll go through a few more things before I wrap up this video, but I'm going to try to not make it too long today because I'm not going to over edit it. And hopefully you, if you're watching this far, like I fucking love you. Seriously. Like how, how long am I into the video? Fucking five minutes. And you have the attention span to just watch me with no edits, no cuts, no nothing. Maybe I've done a few cuts here and there, but just trimming out the bullshit. But I, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. That's all I wanted to say. But the next thing that I want to talk about is caring what others think of you. And this used to be a fucking horrible worry of mine in the past is all I cared about was what other people thought of me. This just is in our biology, like I said before. And companies fucking exploit our biology so that we want to feel like we fit in, so that we want to know that other people care about us, that other people love us, that other people think good about us. And things like social media especially are made for us to compare ourselves to other people, to think that we're worse off than others and want to look better online and just overall fit in. And we want as many likes as possible on our posts. We get FOMO when we see other people doing cool shit. And this just kind of makes sense. I mean, if you think about it in ancestral times, in prehistoric times, we often wouldn't want to get banished by the tribe because that meant that we wouldn't survive. So what we would do is try to fucking fit in, be like everyone else, do what everyone else does, just be a normal person that fits in with everyone else, which kind of makes sense. And nowadays, it's kind of like the norm to... I don't know, go to school for four to eight years, even more, get a shitty job and really just not enjoy your career at all. And I'm not saying shitty job based on the money and based on how much fucking time you spend on this, but it's just if you love it or not, if you can fucking do what you love, then that's a good job in my opinion. But yeah, I need to get back to that ancestral way of living and not my, allow my biology to take over because I still do compare myself to others way too much and I care what others think about me too much. But just be yourself. The right people will be attracted to you. Nowadays, there's so many fucking people in this world that you can connect with. It's not just that 20 to 30 person tribe like it used to be way back in the day. So if you do get banished by your tribe, just being yourself will allow you to attract the right people to you. And then the wrong people, maybe they won't like you, but who the fuck cares? Some other things I want to talk about are just like sitting down, laying down, being active in general because... No one's really active nowadays unless you're deliberately going to the gym, deliberately going on walks, runs, bike rides, getting outside, then you're not going to be healthy. This is what humans were meant to do. We were meant to always be active, always be finding that next food source, finding that next source of water, finding more shelter, whatever the fuck it was. We were always doing something. We were always trying to be active and nowadays we're just fucking slouched over on our desks fucking typing away and honestly that's another thing is work on your posture get back to that fucking ancestral way of having your posture good I, I don't know it's good for oxygen flow to the brain it's good for confidence in general just having good posture feels fucking amazing so work on that work on the way you sit work on how much you sit get outside more don't go on fucking screens all day like i said before that'll fuck up your circadian rhythm your mood your energy levels if you're on social media all the time comparing yourselves to others that'll fuck up your way of just living life because if you're always trying to fit in always trying to do what other people want you to do rather than what you want for yourself then you're never going to be happy so you need to find what makes you happy in life and fucking do that and then the right people will be attracted to you i'm sure you guys have thought of more ancestral ways of living than i did and i've stated in this video and i've just kind of said a few things that i was thinking about because if you can kind of get back to that prehistoric way of living, that caveman style of life, then you can actually be in line with your biology and understand yourself and enjoy your life more and have a better mood, have better energy, be healthier, not constantly be overstimulated by dopamine, not always wanting to get that next hit of dopamine, but you do things that delay your gratification. Just be aware of when you're getting away from that caveman style of life, when you're spending too much time on your phone, too much time on your devices, too much time inside, sitting down, get outside a little bit, eat some healthy food, raise your vibration. I think you get the idea of this video. Just be a caveman. <laughs>